Welcome to our weekly program, The Inside Story of Chabad in America through the Medel Archives. A few days ago was the Kinus HaShluchim, and last week at the end of uh, my program, I mentioned a conversation between Rabbi Mindel and Rabbi Chadakov before the Kinus HaShluchim. This was, I think, Tovshin Mem Vov or Mem Zayin. And as I mentioned, that many times they used to discuss before Neshei Chabad convention, before Hey Thomas the Sforim, they used to discuss different things, have things written down, and Mitzvah maybe in the future I'll share with you. But I mentioned last, last week something that they spoke, and I didn't finish the conversation. So today I want to finish the conversation between Rabbi Chadikov and Rabbi Mindel. So I mentioned last week that Rabbi Chadakov mentioned that every shliach, when he gets up in the morning, he says, Matoivu Oyalecho Yaakov, Mishkenei Sacha Yisrael. Oyalecho is a tent that's temporary. And that says Yaakov. Yaakov is a yid, it's called Yaakov, that's the lower level of a Jew. Mishkenei Secho, that's, the, that's a dwelling place, that's permanent, and that's a Yisrael, Lirash, that's a higher level of a Yid. So when a Shliach gets up every morning, he has to know, you have to have a table, you have to have a Chabad house, he says to Rabbi Midel. Uh, um, he has to have a, um, a telephone, uh, I guess a computer, I don't know if there was a computer then, but I guess that's probably the same idea, a computer. Uh, everything, all Gashmis, he has to have it. He has to have money. But he had, the Shliach should know that's not an Iker. That's only a Tofel. That's, that's only a Yolecho. That's temporary. These are not the most important thing. The most important thing in Mishkin Secho, the dwelling place Yisrael, that's, that's what it stays. What's inside of the Chabad house. That when he gets up in the morning, he always has to think to himself, how many people am I going to put on film today? How many people am I going to send to yeshiva? How many people am I going to make balchuvas or whatever? How many people am I going to learn Torah? He mentioned Torah today. So this is the Iker. This is what I mentioned. Then Rabbi Mindel asked Rabbi Chadakov, but uh, okay, every Yid, says Matoivu, Olecho Yaakov Mishkin Nesach Yisrael. So, so Rabbi Mechadikov answered, Eino Chinami, every Yid is a Shliach of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And he said the word, Hayoyim Yoyim, every day is a day for every Yid. Every Yid is a Shliach. So every Yid has to know this, that what he's going to do today in, 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 in the Ruch Nizdike, uh, also, oh, especially on Nash, that they now have special um, uh, um, from the Rebbe, that they know what their Shlichus is. And every Anash, he says, that walks out from a Yechidus room, I'm, just, I'm reading the notes, from Yechidus room, is called a Shliach of the Rebbe. So, Bahamas, according to what Rabbi Chadakov said, we are all shluchim. Every yid is a shliach. Every chabadnik is a shliach of the Rebbe. And by the way, I want to mention a Maimer Hamuzger. By the way, it reminds me, I once heard a person asked uh, the Rebbe, why isn't Chabad into Kashrus? This was years ago. I mean, uh, not that they're not into kashrus, uh, or nituchem meisim, or bikur choylim. You know, the satmer chsidim, baruch Hashem, they do a lot in bikur choylim. They do a lot in, in kashrus. I mean, the business, the kashrus started from years ago. Started was, I mean, Lubavitch is into it, but not as much as they. They, they have kashrus bikur choylim, knowing that they, they go to visit choylim. So why is, isn't Lubavitch as much as they are? That's what somebody asked the Rebbe. 
So the Rebbe answered like this. Every Yid has a shlichas in this world. As you said, Satmer, give kosher Yidin. Kosher, it says in Tanya, the Rebbe says, purifies the neshama, the nefesh, the goof. It's important to eat kosher. As it says, the Rebbe explained what the importance of giving Yidin kosher. Um, everything else, because of course, is very important. Now, but kosher, um, the Rebbe didn't say this, This, but uh, I'm saying, the Rebbe didn't say this sentence. You are what you eat. If you eat kosher, you become kosher. If you eat a pig, you become a pig. Excuse me, my exp ex expression. This is a yid. Kosher is very important. And if Satmar wouldn't do it, we would have to do it. Baruch Hashem, they're giving it in kosher. And the shlichus of Chabad is to make the customers. This is our shlichus in this world, basically. So the shlichus is to make chinuch. That's why when the Rebbe came, Merkaz Lanyoni chinuch, Bali Tshuva, we teach people, this is our Avaida. Not that the, uh, uh, the Avaid is not kashras. Or the same thing also, the other chassidim, not that they don't have to be makar of other people, but this is their inyan in this world. And that's why by the, the satmar chassidim, Baruch Hashem, the Rebbe says, give kosher in this world, and we make the customers to eat the kosher. And as it's explained, talking about Bali Tshuva, where a Baal stands, even the biggest tzaddikim cannot reach to that level. What does that mean? I mean, here you have a person born by Tarz HaMishpacha, a person that grew up from the time he was born until 120, did everything right. Did everything. And here you say a person that Rahman al was Bakal Shabbos or a tray for all his life. And all of a sudden he becomes a Bal Shuve, a real Bal Shuve. So you say that he's higher. What does that mean? So the explanation is given, one of the explanations, I guess, is that any energy, any position that the Bal Shuve was. A tzaddik was never there. A tzaddik, a tzaddik cannot elevate something that a bal tshuva can elevate. You have to elevate everything in this world. Food, you also elevate. You elevate the chicken. You eat chicken kosher, you elevate the chicken. Or whatever you do. So that, if a, a person ate Rahman al-Tzlan treif, or a person was in a position where he's not supposed to be in a place, and now he, he changes and he becomes a bal tshuva, so and through that becomes his blood, Dhamma Basar, and he changed it to Gdusha because Abal Tshuve never had to do with this kind of with this kind of, of inyonim. That's what it means, Oimdim. So anyway, so Avaida in this in, in, is to bring closer, and this is our purpose that the Freydi Kareb, as we spoke, came to America and he called her Amreiko. To, to bring Chinuch to America. We see today what the Rebbe accomplished from 1940 when the, the Rebbe came until today. We see what Chabad accomplished in this world, the, how many customers we made. So, to finish the, the, the conversation between Rabbi Mindel and uh, Rabbi Chadakov, so Rabbi Mindel, uh, so Rabbi Chadakov mentioned to Rabbi Mindel then some people, he mentioned also Shluchim over here, they try to find, to look for new ways, put a lot of effort to teach, teach children. Rabbi Kharikov was a teacher, he was a principal par excellence, so his thing is Chinuch. Skills. How, how do we, we need new skills. Rabbi Kharikov says, we have skills. We have skills from the, he said, the Rebbe Rashab wrote 
אתם חתמימים. The Fadik Rebbe wrote a lot about Chinuch. Rabbi Chaim Korv himself wrote, about, he was a Baal Mechanech. Rabbi Mindel wrote, there's other people that, that, that Gedolim, they wrote how to, how to give skills to children. That is not something we don't have to look for new ways how we should be able to, how we should teach the children or what we should do with children. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and he mentioned like this, it says, uh, he wrote it down, Elikim also es ha'odom yoshor v'heim bikshu chashbainis rabim. I don't know what that says. It says somewhere. David gave a person, yoshor, do the right thing. Listen to the rabbim. There's so much in chinuch about skills, about how to teach children, that the children should grow up the way they're supposed to. Why look for new things? We live in a we live in a in a secular world, and we all also trying to find new skills how we should do it. You don't have to. He says, this is all written and it's taki written. We see, we have from 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 chsidim from and not only for yeshivas, even for people, even for Wednesday uh, hour release time. We have teachers guide, and the, and the Rabbi Mindel checked that over. So why do we have to now look, he says, people, some people look for new things. Let's not look for new things. What we do have to have skills is other type of skills. And that's something that I will um, e- explain in Mirza Hashem next week, what Rabbi Chadakov mentioned to Rabbi Mindel. In Mirza Hashem, next week I will continue uh, our Thursday night program. Thank you.